for the next supply drops which i'm pretty sure i'm actually 99 percent sure will be featured also in black Ops 3 i mean they made too much money from supply drops to just leave it there and not take that opportunity again Now, I don't want to be that kind of a guy, but I told you so. Over a month ago, I made the video that I basically showed a clip from, in which I stated that from a business point of view, it really wouldn't have made that much sense for Activision to simply drop the supply drop system because of the huge amount of money that they actually made thanks to the system in the first place. I mean, I think we can all agree that chances are Advanced Warfare wouldn't have turned a profit if it wasn't for supply drop. Plus, the only reason why Advanced Warfare is still to some extent relevant in the Call of Duty community is simply because of supply jobs, because of, you know, the interest that people have in getting this random opportunity of getting this weird legendary or lit item. And I don't know if it's because I'm a huge supporter of this kind of, you know, in-game transactions and all that kind of good jazz because I come from CSGO and I love the fact that you can actually buy skins and all that kind of good jazz. What the fuck? Damn, that was weird. Now, since apparently supply drops are also being confirmed to be in Black Ops 3, I am kind of worried. Because the biggest reason to why I didn't really enjoy supply drops in Advanced Warfare was because if you had a lot of money or if you were extremely lucky, you were basically granted the possibility of shinning on anyone, literally anyone, independently of the fact that you were a better player or not. And that really pissed me off. Because whenever I would get drop shotted by a guy that has no clue of even how to aim with his weapon, and I would die just because I was using a normal variant instead of let's say the obsidian seed and all that kind of good jazz that would sincerely piss me the fuck off because i wouldn't understand why the hell would they grant this opportunity of basically shitting on people just based on lack Bitch better have my money. it's always him dude it's always that koa motherfucker. apparently in black Ops 3 these supply jobs will only affect tones and gestures and attachments of weapons now point number one i don't really get what is the point of buying a different tone and gesture that literally comes straight up from destiny In destiny you're allowed to basically buy these animations that you can use throughout the game and i never really understood what was the point of doing so mostly because i never really understood what was the point of just showing off that after you kill someone I don't know if it's because I mostly rush and so I don't really have that much time to actually go ahead and just show up as soon as I kill someone. And considering- How the fuck did you get me? Yep. You're not allowed to quickscope in BO1. That's, that's for sure, boys. So, I already know that I'm not gonna buy these supply drops simply because of the tones and gestures. And chances are, this is also what Mr. Treyarch actually figured out. You know, they were like, maybe tones and gestures are not really enough for people to go ahead and spend all their money in these supply drops. So, they decided to add weapon attachments. Now, this could either turn out to be a brilliant idea or the main reason to why I'm not gonna even bother on buying these supply drops. Because if the attachments only change the way the attachment looks, like, I don't know, they maybe add, you know, a dragon skin or they make it look really, really weird and yada, 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 yada. Then in that case, I'm down. I love customization. I love the fact that I'm given the option of customizing my own experience, as I explained in previous Call of Duty videos. But if it actually affects the way the weapon performs, let's say that there is a quick draw attachment that you unlock, a legendary quick draw attachment that you unlocked out of these supply drops, and that basically makes you aim instantly, then that will actually piss me off because that would be Advanced Warfare 2.0. It would be the same stuff all over again, basically granting the possibility of shitting on people strictly based based on how much money you have or your percentage of luck while opening these supply jobs, which I cannot stress enough is complete bullshit. And apparently the main way in which you will be able to buy these supply drops is through the black market. Now what I think is actually gonna happen is something really really similar to what has happened to Destiny, okay? Also in Destiny there are these quote unquote microtransactions and the only way to buy them, to buy these particular items or these particular skins, animations and all that kind of good jazz is basically deposit your money, your in real life money and change it for some kind of virtual currency just like FIFA does with FIFA points and then you would 
use these FIFA points to then go ahead and buy these supply jobs and these items and all that kind of good jazz. Now, of course, this is all speculation, especially the part about, you know, the black market and all that kind of good jazz. But I'm really, really interested in understanding whether or not you guys would be down to have a supply drop system similar to what it was an advanced offer, aka the luckiest one or the richest one would get serious advantages over the normal guy that simply does not have enough money to spend on the supply drop openings or if you agree with what i'm saying right now aka basically giving an advantage to someone just based on how rich he is or how lucky he is it's complete bullshit please tell me that down in comments below i really really am interested in knowing what is your point of view on this particular thing especially from a business side hope you had a beautiful beautiful day thank you all for watching and bye bye <laughs>